Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is talk to you about this type of integral. It's an integral where we've got some function of x in the denominator, and if you were to differentiate f of x, you find you get it in the numerator. That's f dash of x, or f prime of x. And the answer turns out to be the natural log of the modulus of f of x plus a constant of integration c. I'll also be adding to this formula in this tutorial, giving you a more general case. And what I'll be looking at as well are working through these two examples here. Now before we look at working these examples out and using this formula, it's important, I feel, that I show you how we get to this particular integral type. So let's say we take an example like y equals the natural log, say, of all of 3x plus 5. And what I'm going to do is differentiate this with respect to x. And in order to do that, we've got to use the chain rule. You might well be able to do it straight off in your head from earlier tutorials, but very briefly then, we've got dy dx equals dy by dt times dt by dx. And what I'm going to let y equal is the natural log of t, where t is going to be equal to the 3x plus 5. And if we do that, then we can see that dy by dt should be familiar with differentiating the natural log of t with respect to t. That's going to be 1 over t. And if we replace the t with the 3x plus 5, we end up with 1 over 3x plus 5. And when it comes to working out dt by dx, differentiating t with respect to x just gives us 3. And so we therefore have dy by dx equals dy by dt times dt by dx. That's 1 over 3x plus 5 times 3. So that's just going to give us 3 then all over the 3x plus 5. So therefore, if I was to reverse the process and look at integrating 3 divided by 3x plus 5, integrating that with respect to x, well, what did I differentiate that gave me this? Well, it was the natural log of 3x plus 5. So if I put that in, natural log of 3x plus 5, now instead of having brackets, I've shown you in previous videos and also in a later video in this series that we should really write a modulus sign. So if you're unsure of that, do go out and check that video. And then we've got the constant of integration, so I'll call that C. So can you see then that what we've got here is f of x in the denominator, the differential of f of x in the numerator, and the integral leads to the natural log of the modulus of f of x, plus that constant of integration. So if I look at this case in general, let's just write that in, what have we got? Well, if I've got y equals the natural log of some function of x, then by differentiating this using the chain rule, I'm going to get dy by dx equaling the differential of the natural log of t, where t is f of x. That's going to be 1 over t, 1 over f of x. And we're going to multiply it by the differential of f of x. So that's going to be f dash of x. So we end up with f dash of x over f of x. That's if we use the chain rule. So reversing this process is just going to give us this result here. But what I want to do is just extend this a bit more. Let's suppose we had a constant multiplying the natural log, say, of 3x plus 5. Let's say that constant was 6. Then dy by dx would be 6 multiplied by the result that we got here. 
So when it came to integrating this, we would have the constant out the front, okay? And we would get six there times the natural log of the mod of three x plus five plus c. So if we had, say, y equaled a constant, let's say we have a there, then when it comes to differentiating this, the a is going to stay there. And when it comes to integrating, well, the constant a can go out the front of the integral and is going to appear there. And so this is a more general case of this type of integral. And you'll see this being used in example two. Now at this point, you might want to just pause the video and have a go at these, but I'm going to take you slowly through the work solutions. So with this first one, when you get an integral that's a fraction like this, check out, see whether differentiating the denominator gives you the numerator. Well, if I differentiate the denominator, differentiating x cubed gives me 3x squared. Differentiating the 5, well, that goes to 0. So yes, when I differentiate the denominator, I've got the numerator. So this is going to be a direct application of this, where, if you like, the constant a is 1. So we end up with this equaling the natural log of the modulus of the denominator. That's x cubed plus 5. And then we've got the constant of integration, which I'll call c. But when it comes to number 2, again we've got a fraction here, looking at the denominator, x squared minus 3. If I differentiate that, I get 2x. But at the top here in the numerator, I've got 5x. But what I notice, by multiplying by a constant, and you can only do this if you multiply by a constant, okay? It mustn't be a variable. If we multiply by a constant, we can change that 5x into a 2x. And that will work, okay? So this is how we get around the problem. What I'd like is to have the integral 2x, okay, over x squared minus 3. Integrate that with respect to x. But I can't claim that these two are equal. Having a 2 there is not right, okay? I've got a 5. So what I can do is put a 5 there and divide out by that 2. 5 over 2 times 2 just gives me 5. Okay, so I'll end up with 5x. And I'm allowed to do this because I've got a constant out the front. And so what I end up with then as my final result is 5 over 2 multiplied by the natural log of the modulus then of x squared minus 3. And then again, plus that constant of integration c. So I hope that's given you some idea then on how we can use this particular form of an integral. Whenever you get a fraction, it's always a good idea to check out, first of all, whether the numerator is a differential of the denominator. And if it's not, it might be just worth seeing if you can make an adjustment by taking out a constant, in this case, a. I showed you over here that constant that we took out was 5 over 2. It cannot be a variable. It can't have x's in, okay? You can't make an adjustment like that. That is quite often a common mistake that beginners make. Only take out constants. And if so, it leads you to a natural log type. So as usual, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully you'll check out the later videos in this series where I give you an exercise of questions like this to do.